7,000 pounds is up for grabs as seven football fans take their seats at the poker table. Their pride, their cash, and their club's reputation is all at stake. Who has what it takes as a fast and furious game kicks off? Welcome to London Town. There's a tidy game of poker going down in the East End tonight. It's a real deal. Cash on the table, loads of spondoolies. We ain't playing for tiddlywinks. You've got to have a whole lot of nerve for this game. Someone's taking home Luke Joss Muller. So get your readies out as the football fans mix it up on the table. Seat one is Lloyd Garner, Culture United fan. This geezer is on the ball. He supports the great use and ain't in the mood for a friendly. Lincoln City supporter Paul Fletcher is wearing the stripes. This bloke is a red in. He ain't planning to sit on the sidelines tonight. He's gonna get stuck right in. He takes seat two. Shane Roberts, all the way from Bristol. He's a man with a plan. This Robin supporter will be dodging the bad bets and scoring the big pots. In seat four is Leighton Orient fan Terry Pitcher. This mighty old supporter feels right at home in the East End Den. He won't want to be turned over in his own patch and there ain't nothing worse than getting robbed on your own doorstep. Jeff Howard, the Oldham Athletic fan, is in seat five. Have a butchers at this geezer. He wants to captain the game, so get ready for some fancy footwork. There's rivalry on the cards tonight. Douglas Haig is no mug. A Sheffield United supporter with fistful of moolah and he's ready for a tackle. This geezer's in seat six. Sheffield Wednesday supporter Peter Boop is in seat seven. This Al supporter has a wad of cash in his sky rocket and a score to sell. Will he win big tonight or be sent flying back to the beach? This is the PartyPoker.com Sports Start Challenge 3. Over the next few weeks, some of the top names from the worlds of darts, snooker, rugby, cricket, and football will be taken to the poker table to play against their peers and get a shot at that championship title. I'm joined by six-time world champion Steve Davis, who is both playing and commentating this event. Now, Steve, before the main event gets underway, there's an undercard the football fans are taking to the table. That's right, £7,000, winner take all. These lads have never been on television before. It's a big prize. They should be nervous, but there should be some pride at stake. They've won online satellites to represent their club. Now, we know they love their football, but can they play poker as well? Will they have the same pride and passion? I think they will, because of course there's bragging rights, uh, and there's a few teams, Sheffield United, Sheffield Wednesday, Oldham Athletic, plenty of teams involved. They'd like to win for their clubs, I'm sure, but the £7,000, that'll be a big carrot. Reputation of their poker skills and their clubs. Let's get down to the table and see what happens. These football fans ain't shy of giving a bit of verbal, but can they walk the walk when the pressure is cooking? Ref, blow that whistle. line starting at 10 and 20 pounds for this football supporters match of the Sports Star Challenge. Joined by Steve Davis and uh, Steve Cash on the table. Yes, and all these players have won through from their respective websites, playing online for their fan club. A lot of pride at stake. Yeah, under the gun, uh, this is Shane Roberts, who's a uh, a Bristol City supporter, and uh, he was he was telling me uh, apparently they're doing quite well in the is it the championship? Oh, don't, don't ask me. I'm a Lake Norian <laughs> supporter. I wouldn't know things about that championship. <laughs> Speaking of Lake Norian supporter, uh, Terry uh, Pitcher there, he's the only player who didn't actually qualify online, but in a, a Lake Norian live poker league. That was cool. Obviously the favourite. <laughs> Local boy made good. It might be, and I mean, he probably has the most live experience out of this uh, whole table. Some decent nice. hands out there. So Lots of spades out. People yeah. hoping for spades. Not too much chance of these happening. Feels a lot different when you're playing and there's real cash in the pot, isn't it? I mean, check, check. check. That. check. That's a top pair for Fletcher check. and Haig. Check. <coughs> And I believe Douglas Haig owns a bar 
Are you going to let In Sheffield. He's a Sheffield United supporter. So, he, what he meant was 20 with 20. Yeah, okay, that's okay. Is that's all right, okay. isn't it? A bit of string betting there, but uh, it's the early days, and perhaps some of these players haven't had too much experience of live play. Chips are sometimes easier to manoeuvre. They play. Uh, they play best. It's sort of the best intentions rule here, don't they, Steve? So I mean, uh, tournament director Mad Marty Wilson is going to uh, give them a little leeway. Cool. Yes, of course. Cool. And if he sees anybody stepping out of line, he really gets mad. Uh, a lot of people. Do you like that call by Terry Pitcher? I mean, obviously he's going for the jack, make him a straight. The ace would be good, as it turns out. Well, it's small fry at the moment, but it still eats into your stack. That should slow things down quite significantly, I think. Everybody aware of check. the possibility that somebody was calling with the flush draw? Check. It's actually good news for uh, Fletcher. He's now got the same hand check. as Hag. Check. Um, a free card for Terry, actually. Um, so bet could have won it there. You never know. Will somebody be brave enough to bet out here? 60. Pass. Crisp 60 pounds going in the middle. That's a saucy little bet. And I don't know if it's an easy cool. call by Hag, but he made it. And, uh... Paul Fletcher, I bet he thought he was bluffing when he made that bet on the river. <laughs> but uh, they're going to split the pot up, Steve. I mean. He is a beer wholesaler, and he's splitting the pot with a bar owner. That's Perhaps they could kind of... Well, it's, it's a carve-up, isn't it? <laughs> yes. It's price-fixing at the very worst. <laughs> the late Norient man in the middle there had no chance. <laughs> so, Lincoln City and Sheffield United sharing one. That's Peter Booth from Sheffield. Hasn't seen too much action yet, has he, Peter? Pass. I don't really know what he's capable of until Pass. he gets some sort of hand, and uh, quite rightly, not getting too impatient. Here's Fletcher again. Been playing for three years, online only. Pass. An interesting hand. I mean, that's a tight that's fold, a isn't it? Cool. You could have got, cool. got a bit busy with that and yeah. seen where he laid. Cool. There is. No, these guys have been sort of uh, eyeing each other up in the green room before the game. and uh, Late Norian up against Oldham Athletic. There's a match. <laughs> Terry uh, Pitcher, who's on the... Um, is he on the button right now? Uh-oh. He's flopped top pair and... Oldham's flopped a flush. Check. Mm. Check. Douglas Haig's well out check. of this. Check. Check. And a check there. Sneaky slow play Very from Howard, isn't it? Dangerously sneaky as well. Now, but if you were him, would you be betting on the turn? I think you'd have to bet on the turn, but I think a, a bet on the, the flop would have been nicer. Uh, it certainly would have got some action, I think, from pitcher. Bet 40. 40. It's... Uh, mm. Mm, it's so deceiving when you when you flop a flush and bet it out, isn't it? Yeah, yes. but I think it's the natural thing is cool. to cool. to try and slow play it. But now he's got a customer, and um, nice customer as well. No way out. Yeah, he's actually drawing dead, isn't he? Oh, a worried card there. Then perhaps if you'd have bet the flop as well as the turn, he'd have made more money out of the situation. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh my! Did he say two hundred? He said two hundred. Hello, darling. Get in there. Now what's going to happen? This is your late Norient man, betting with nothing. <laughs> oh, look at the face. Oh, my. Oh dear. Oldham's under pressure. Orient's putting it on. It's a great bet. I mean, he may get called, but it's still a great bet. He represented... How can he get called? He's bet 200 pounds. It's not real money. They're effectively only sort of... It is real money. You're right. <laughs> well, I mean. well, it's the money they've been given, but they could win it. You're right. It is real money. Great bet. And he looks calm, cool, and collected. He doesn't like it, does he? Oldham staring him down. Could I he mean, give this up? He, he's probably kicking himself inside, thinking, I've thrown this away. I mean, he's only got a nine of spades. If oh. A good call. Yes. No, he folded. I thought he said call. No. Wow. Well, he, he took his time. 